Hey there, Dewdrops. It's Diane from Coravina. How are you today? Happy Friday. Hope it's a good day. Everything's good here in Cincinnati. It's a little warm. I got the bare shoulders. It's still warm enough for that. I love it. Well, I hope you're having a good day. I'm having a great day, and I'm happy to be here with you all week long. We have been making amazing marbled paper. Look at that big stack. Guys, they're beautiful. And you're not going to even be able to see everything that I've got here. They're gorgeous. Um, so we have been playing with different colors all week. It's been fall plus purple. All right. So we have a ton to choose from here. And we'll do something more fun with those, I think. Got to get all my ducks in a row first, if you know what I mean. So today is our last purple plus fall, because you guys are probably a little overboard on purple. So we are doing purple and navy with a couple of accents. We've got a really neat inspirational picture. It's of a purple and navy wedding. Okay, so we've got our dark blue here. We've got our, our little baby bottles. Okay, so we've got a little bit of a dusty teal, a grapey purple, and then a grayish pink. All right, so they're not like, I won't call it pale pink, but it's like a I guess it is a pale pink, but it's not like pink pink. All right. Okay, guys. So that's what we're going to do today. We are going to do some more paper. It's going to be really pretty. I'm excited about it. Okay. So let's see what we have got. Let's move our screen over. Here we go. You can see our tray is a little bit polluted. That's totally fine. We are going to go ahead and get started. And they just cleared off the surface. So I think we're going to trust it. Okay. All right, we're gonna start with our really dark blue. Ooh, it's super dark. I feel like this wedding is very uh, dark and dramatic, right? Like there is a lot of blue going on in this wedding. We're gonna come in, add our purple. Let's add a little bit more blue. I don't know, we'll kind of experiment and see how much we can add on here before our paint starts to smear terribly um, when we pull our paper out of the water. Because that's what we're, we're looking for a happy medium. We want our paper to be very vibrant with awesome color, but we also want the paint to not run. Okay, a little bit of that. Let's go the opposite way, do a little bit of pink. Very nice, very nice. And then there's a lot of navy, okay? So let's go back. Let's do a little bit more of this dark blue over top of stuff and see what we end up with. All right, so super vibrant. Let's go ahead and move our paints around here. It's so funny. I'm. I don't like this song <laughs> and every day I'm like what is that song's name I'm going to play around that song and I mess it up every time I will it's okay no worries y'all probably don't even notice it it's probably just me okay guys so we've got this in here I think it looks really pretty let's play with it a little bit more okay I feel like that teal looks a little blue like a little more blue than than the teal I was hoping for. We'll find out. Let's just give it let's give it some swirls. A little swirly swirl. All right. We are ready. That fast. Okay. Let's dip down our paper. All right, let's pull this thing out of the water and see what we have got already. Hey, Laura, how are you? Let's see. There we go. Okay, let's pull it up. Let's see what we've got. You might see dripping and running. Ooh, very nice. I like the dark. And we do not have too much dripping and running. The blue might be a little bit lighter than navy. Oh, what a bummer. 
Oh, so sad. Now we have holes and we have paint smears. Bummer. Okay, I'm going to set this aside. Oh, heartbreaking. All right, well, that one was just not meant to be. And now I'm covered in paint. <laughs> oops. <laughs> yeah, oops is right. All right, that's okay. But we did see what we needed to see, right? We did see that the blue didn't run, which is exciting because there was a lot of paint on that tray. And that's part of the reason I've been playing around with paints this week, or paper paints this week. They are different than my silk paints. I don't know if I made that clear. Um, just trying to see what is what we can uh, what we can do, right? Okay, so we're gonna clean this tray off and then we're gonna do it again for fun. Let's do one more clean on cleaning on the tray here. So for anybody joining us for the very first time, we are water marbling. That means we are floating very thin paints onto the surface of a tray of water. And this week we are working with paper marbling, all right, instead of our usual silk marbling. Okay, so here we go. Our water is clean, clean, clean. Let's go. Let's do something fun. All right. We're going to start with our purple this time. And why not? We'll battle back. We'll go purple, teal, purple, teal. Oh, this is going to be fun. We'll have to see how much that, um, I'm going to put the navy down over top of the teal, the dusty teal. We'll see how much that spreads because I feel like it's spreading a lot. Not too crazy bad. That's good. All right, so we'll put a little bit more down here because I like the purple. It can be purple forward. Why not? We'll load it up one more time. Okay. All right, let's move this paint around. We're gonna keep it nice and simple this time. We're just gonna go down and back. I think. You hear that little scrape on the bottom of the tray? Oh, yikes. Loud, loud, loud. Think. Maybe a little squiggle. Should we do a little squiggle on the blue? Okay, let's dip this paper. Let's see what this looks like. I wish that I had paper the size of the whole tray. Okay, so we're gonna try and get this purple line. All right, let's see what we've got. All right, you ready? Okay, one, two, three. Oh, nice. We've got an interesting line here. I'm digging it. Okay. Yeah, I think that blue is a little bit lighter. It's not a navy, but it's still very pretty. 
All right, I'm gonna carefully set this aside so I don't break it again, okay? I'll be right back. Okay, and because I am a little bit bummed about that first one, your parcel to squiggles, I know I love the squiggles too. Laura, do you like the squiggles better or do you like using the tools better? Like just the freehanding? What do you think? I love that our newspaper does this when we clean the tray out. You guys never see that, but I love it. I'm always like, oh, that'd be a really nice print if it wasn't on newspaper. Okay, so we're gonna go lighter this time. I'm gonna put some navy in the tray, some of this non-navy, some of the blue, okay? And then we're gonna do some of the lighter colors on top of it. I think it'll be really pretty. It's not gonna look totally like our picture, but it's still gonna be pretty. Okay, here we go. You know, what if we just go crazy? Let's just put paint everywhere. Very nice. We all have our, um, we all have our little things. Isn't that fun? Laura likes the squiggles best. They are very fun to do. And I bet you would be a very good squiggler, Laura. All right, we're gonna come in with our teal. We're getting very crazy. And I'm totally digging the purple. I'm liking it a lot. All right, so I think I just want to dip it down like this. I really like this stone pattern. You like the combination of tools and freestyle. Yeah, those are really pretty too when you've got the intricate patterns and then you come in with a squiggle and then nobody can really figure out how it works. Really, I'm the only one that be able, would be able to diagnose a pattern unless you're another marbler that said that. Then you can like go, hmm, how are these lines moving? How did they get this pattern? But um, yeah, I think it's really pretty. That's kind of a kind of a thing, like a math equation. Sometimes I see a pattern and I'm like, you know, reverse engineering. Like, how did they do that? All right, so we're gonna lower this down. Let's see what we've got. Nice and smooth. All right, guys, ready? Let's do this. Ooh, I love it. I like this one a lot. Very, very, very pretty. All right. Good job. Good job, me. Good job, guys. All right. I'm going to move this to the side. I'll be right back. Let's take care of business here. Our paper is failing left and right. I had paper fall. Oh no, it was a casualty, water marbling casualty. All right guys, this is Diane from Corvina. I hope you have had a good week. I've had a good week. Thank you for spending time with me. Thank you for watching our relaxing water marbling. I hope you enjoy it. Hope you like the paper and the colors. Uh, so I will be back next week, all right? And I think probably be back to scarves, no promises, but I think that's where we're headed. All right, so I hope that you have a wonderful weekend and that you and yours are safe and happy wherever you are, okay? Thanks for being a part of my life. Bye, do drops. Remember, live colorfully and go shop at coravina.com right here, okay? Remember to like, comment, or share on this video because it really helps me out. Bye, guys. Have a good weekend.